Southern you states. Want a case law, you should write down Utah versus Strife. It says Supreme Court. any that peace officer may detain a person the Nevada. officer encounters under circumstances which reason. What's up, people? Today, the video you just saw is a portion of something I wanted to get into because police officers are using court cases and they're manipulating situations as usual by hoping you don't understand application. And the court case they use in this situation is Utah v. Strife. Now, in this <laughs> in the state that he used it, it was a matter of getting ID with name and birthday. That is incorrect. He also states later in the video that the Utah v. Strife decision overruled Hybel v. Nevada. Now, again, that was a lie. This is the reason why, instead of me just handing you court cases, handing you places to go look for certain situations or certain information, I help you understand how these cases apply to different situations. And in this case, um, you're going to see the application for Utah v. Strife has very little to do with the stop. I also went over Utah v. Strife on Periscope about a month, month and a half ago. And I'm going to go over it again today, but I'm going to play a little bit more of the video. And then when we come back, I'm going to go into detail of Utah v. Strife and I'm going to explain how it applies, even in that situation. What's your date of birth, Trice? I've, I've identified myself to you. You have? Yes. Okay. Uh, technically, for the Supreme Court, if you're going to identify yourself, you need a first name and last name plus a date of birth. NRS 171.123 so yeah. states the otherwise. Uh, negative. Okay. Yeah. Also, before I get too deep into this, I want you to know these guys had a lot of violations within their stop at this particular point. So there is going to be a second video with this incident. So I appreciate the, the auditor that did this. I believe it was his second audit. And I'm going to take that video apart because, again, it goes to show that these guys will abuse their authority and they will try to manipulate situations when it suits them. So now, let's go to Strife. Well, the long and short of it is, Utah v. Strife is a limit on the Fourth Amendment exclusionary rule, which means that in the decision, the evidence sees incident to an arrest is admissible. The officer's discovery of a ballot pre-existing and untainted arrest warrant attenuated the connection between the unconstitutional investigatory stop and the evidence seized incident to a lawful arrest. What happened in Utah v. Strife? Strife was under surveillance because there was an ongoing investigation via a tip concerning narcotics. Strife left his house and the problem with that was the officers had no idea he was even home so they took an opportunity to stop him which was an unlawful stop however they knew who strife was they knew he was under investigation and they used the stop as an excuse to extend the warrant and execute searches that were technically unconstitutional but they already knew where an arrest warrant was available to him now the reason why it does not apply in this situation because it only applies to court evidence now what happens is if you are searched and they have no lawful reason they don't know who you are and one of their favorite things is i don't know what is going on so I have to do an investigation Utah v. Strife does not apply because again 
they knew Stripe had a warrant. They used the warrant that they knew Stripe had to execute a search for the probability of things that was in the actual warrant. If they are stopping some random person and they have no lawful reason to be there and they don't know who that person is and then they happen to find a warrant, there are other instances because that is inadmissible regardless of the situation. This situation was special. It was unique simply because they knew who Strife was. The stop was unlawful, but they knew he had a warrant. They used the warrant as the pretext of everything. So this is why in this manner, it does not apply. And the officer lied when he stated that it overrode Hyval v. Nevada. So take a look out for the next video. It's going to be very informative and it's going to be a great breakdown of the application itself in getting this done and getting these clowns back where they're supposed to be in the place of a servant you know public service you know the conscious choice they made to become and uphold every day that they're choosing not to because they believe as a servant they can give orders and you've never heard a servant give a master orders on anything so look out for the next video until next time I almost forgot leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you wish to donate the link is below it's going to be the pinned comment thank you for the guys have and ladies that have already donated to the growth of this channel i'm also going to be doing a podcast that's going to air every monday on itunes this monday will probably be the first one if not it will be the following monday and it will be every monday after that so keep a lookout for it it's going to be an expanded version of this it's going to have about 19 to 25 minutes every monday so be on the lookout it's coming